So factor the polynomial completely. Right, let's do what we did in the previous video to find the greatest common factor, but now we're going to use that and actually do the division that I kind of left it half finished in the previous video. So, I'm going to put little lines underneath these two things. Right, what will 30 and 15 divide by? Yes, they'll divide by 5, but 15 is better, all right? So they'll both divide by 15. Okay, how about the x's? Well, as there's no x in the second term, I can't factor an x out. Okay, it's got to be in both to be able to factor it out. So 15 is the greatest common factor, so that's what I'm going to use to actually answer the question. Now, okay, once you realize what you can divide by, which is 15, okay, let's write it. Now then, what we're going to say is what's left when I factor that 15 out. So when I do the division, what's left? So, here we go. 30 divided by 15, all right? That's 2. Uh, there's no x's to divide by, so that x stays where it is. That one there is still there. Okay, there we go. Right, done the first one. And if you need to, check by doing the distributive law. Look at that. 15 times 2x will take you back to 30x. Okay? Right, so let's look at this one. What's 15 divided by 15? Anything divided by itself is a 1. And that there is the answer. Okay, I've just factored a 15 out of those two terms, and that's the answer. Okay? So just don't forget how to write it. Okay, let's have a look at um, this one here. Uh, similar kind of thing. Right, I'm going to put a line under both. What will 24 and 6 divide by? Uh, they'll both divide by 6. So 6, 6, and again, there's no x's in both of these. I can't factor any x's out, so that's all I can do. The greatest common factor is 6. So let's write it. Let's open up parentheses. 24 divided by 6 is 4. The x is still there. I haven't factored it out or anything. Okay, put it there. Minus, keep the sign. 6 divided by 6, pretty much like the previous question, is 1. And that's the answer. Okay, if you need to, do a little check. Do the distributive law. You will get back to the original question. Okay, 7 looks a bit more interesting. Again, put a line under both of these. Okay, what can 60 and 10 divide by? They'll both divide by 10. All right, so they'll both divide by 10. And now there are x's in both. And remember, the smallest one is the x next to the 10. There's an x cubed and an x. We can factor out the smallest one, which is just the x. Okay, so again, 10x, if I write it there, is what I can factor out. All right, that's what can be factored out. Okay. Do a little division to find out what's left. Right, what's 60 divided by 10? That is 6. Now then, rules for exponents. You should know this. When you divide, you subtract the exponents. All right, so if I do this, put a little 1 there. x is x1. So I've got 3 on top, two, 1 on bottom. So it's like I'm taking 1 away. I'm left with 2, aren't I? Which is 3 take away 1. Look at the exponents. So, if you need to, have a look at this. Here we go. Here's an x cubed. If I divide it by an x, okay, which is what I'm doing, I can cancel those two. That's why it's x squared left. That's what's left. Okay, but remember, the shortcut is just subtract the exponents. Minus. Right, 10 divided by 10 is 1. x divided by x. Now, you can think to yourself, remember, it's still anything divided by itself is 1. So you can just say 10x divided by 10x is 1. You can also think the x's have cancelled. All right? But don't write nothing. All right? It is 1. And again, if you need to, do the distributive law. OK, um, Okay. let's do one more. One more. Okay. Right, what will these two divide by? Right, 10 and 16. 2. All right, so they'll both divide by 2. And again... The smallest x is the x squared, okay? So I know they'll both divide by the x squared. So x squared, x squared, okay? So again, that's what I'm going to write here. 2x squared is what I can factor out of both of these. Open it up, okay, to figure out what's left. So when I do do the division, okay, I'm going back over here, right? Um, this is what I put in the parentheses. Right, 10 divided by 2 is 5, right? 
x4 over x2, 4 take away 2 is 2, okay? So maybe I'm, I'm subtracting because I'm dividing. Uh, properly divide 10 and 2, of course, you get 5. So there we go. That's what I get for this one here. Okay, how about this one here? What's 16 divided by 2? Keep the plus, by the way, in between. All right, is 8. Now realize now that x squared over x squared, it's like saying they've cancelled, they've gone. There's no x. Don't write any x's. That's it. It is 5x squared plus 8 inside if you need to. Look, here's an x squared. If I divide by another x squared, it's like saying, well, in some ways, they've kind of all cancelled. You can't say there's nothing left. It's like saying anything divided by itself is 1. All right. If I still want to do it, 8 times 1 is still 8. But that there is the answer. All right. And if you need to, do the distributive law. See if you get back to 10x to the 4th plus 16x squared. Okay? So, that's factoring.